If you look at any nice, can you talk about how you folks are helping? You can talk about either your solutions or how you guide, help users, as you said, big enterprises as well to deal with this complexity. Within the any nice platform, there are several active uh, areas of development. Um, if and and obviously we are utilizing um, you know Kubernetes uh, as a primary framework to build um, new generation products. So one of the problems we see is how do you how do you represent organizational units of a large client? Uh, we could call them business units or or development teams or or tenants if you want to. Um, so that's that's one of the first things is is how do you how do you say well th well this is a department and this department has a team and this team has let's say half a dozen dozen Kubernetes clusters for for various purposes and you would like to be able to restrict their access and management of a certain number of users to that particular tenant um, and ideally without using infrastructure means. So, of course, you can you know, set up a hierarchy of AWS accounts if you're on AWS. But one of our mantras at any is to be you know, in a healthy relationship with the underlying infrastructure, which means not to depend on their tooling too much. You know, take the commonalities, but shy away from those vendor-specific constructs wherever possible, especially if they are provided by the infrastructure vendor and, and there's no alternative, let's say, on another infrastructure or the alternative is vastly different. So tenant management is one. Um, and also, um, when if you, if you think about the Cloud Foundry ecosystem and the idea to centralize you know, application development in order to gain efficiency, especially operation efficiency, where I still believe Cloud Foundry is absolutely stunning, then you also have that concept of a marketplace. And, you know, I spoke to many clients and I also spoke to many developers and there's, you know, a confusion about the term what marketplace is and what its purpose is. So in Cloud Foundry, it basically serves two purposes. Um, for first, it enumerates the, you know, backing services um, available to consume from your application. So you could, let's say, create a database through the marketplace. So it's about browsing and discovering your options, but then it's also about provisioning it and to a certain degree configuring it, um, let's say, by choosing service plans which could boil down to certain configurations or virtual machine sizes of, let's say, your database. So if you think about a large enterprise using Kubernetes at scale, Having such a marketplace telling the developers of individual departments which tools they can choose from is you know, also something that um, it needs to be covered. Well, there are some tools going into that direction, but you know, some of them don't seem to be contemporary. So what we are going to release, um, possibly also as an open source framework, is a framework to build a marketplace. Well, obviously, it, it will be easy to, you know, download metadata for any nice products. But you could also import data from, from AWS or, or GCP or any other provider, so that developers within large organizations can, you know, discover the the tools that have been cleared by platform operations or the platform, um, you know, managers within an enterprise, uh, you know, to choose from. Um, so, so marketplace. That's that's more like that exploration part. But then you also you know, want to be able to provision and maybe lifecycle management, uh, do lifecycle management beyond using an API. So something like a generic AWS console uh, as an open UI framework. Uh, so what we are going to do uh, is release that UI framework. Uh, so we'll be able to do white labeling. It will be able to write components for each cloud service you want to integrate in that console. And the marketplace will also be built on the same UI framework. So they will go together very, very nicely. And it, it, it will address the problem on make, you know, a service discovery within the organization of a client much simpler. 